here. So today I want to do a topic that when I when I was thinking about this, I couldn't even really think of too many examples. But the ones that I can that I could think of were like so out of it that I was like, you know what? Why not? So today we're gonna be doing a video called Weird Ass Customers. One of the stories won't be about a customer, but you know, it is what it is. I'm just gonna name it Weird Ass Customers because why the fuck not? Also, I know I haven't been doing too many of these talking videos. I've been doing a lot more gaming videos. I just love gaming in general, you know. This channel's kind of everything. You know, I'll start doing vlogs. They'll go on this channel. I don't like this multi-channel meta. It's just annoying to me. So, you know, if you guys want, even though you probably have talking videos, you guys can check out my gaming ones. And also, I, all my gaming videos, I do record on Twitch as well. I do them live and then re-upload them here. So, yeah, see if you want to. So, the first one I want to talk about, I heard, I heard about this like two weeks ago. It took, I think it was two weeks ago at this point. So one of my co-workers, she works in my, obviously in my department and also checkouts. And this this certain situation ended up being when she was working at checkouts, there was this uh, young, there was a family. It was um, obviously, you know, mom, uh, mom, dad, and then I think two girls. I don't know if they were both their daughters or like a daughter and friend, whatever. And then there was an older man. I don't know if he was the one getting his stuff rung up or not, or if it was the family. Doesn't really matter for the story. But what ended up happening is, uh, older man, you know, he, he's like a regular at the store apparently, and he looks to be in the seventies. And these girls look young enough to have to be asked for ID, so they're probably not that old in all honesty. Then what ended up happening was he started talking to like younger girls, obviously with the parents there. And he was just talking and at the start it was just all normal things like oh you know i don't know i don't know how to anything that i'm kind of thinking of kind of sounds like kind of weird especially me thinking like that it's an old man it just sounds weird but you know he's just talking to the younger girls and then he ends up seeing that she has like an earring in her ear and he like comes on and it's like oh you got an earring that looks uh very pretty and she was like oh thanks and for some reason, this guy just out of nowhere. Remember, he's like, keep in mind, he looks 70. He's probably older. He looks 70. And you know what this guy, this guy says to this girl that looks like, looks underage? That's because he, being the Rizzolo, or a bit of a Pedro, you know, I won't say the whole world, a bit of a Pedro. That's because he says, yeah, <laughs> this just sounds disgusting. This is just so disgusting. I can't even remember what he said exactly. He, he said, yeah, I'd like to put my tongue up in that ear hole. Basically is what he's saying. He said he wants to put his tongue through like the gap in her, you know, ear, the gap of her earring. And bro, when I got told that story, I was like, oh, shivers, bro. That was disgusting. I'm like, fuck, no. Bro, you're like 70 years old and he's saying, yeah, I'd like to put my tongue in your ear, like, oh, fucking old bastard. That, nah, that, that just shouldn't be allowed. That honestly just shouldn't be allowed. I'm gonna quickly move on. The next weird customer, I guess, just because he was like an old guy as well, he looked more like 50s to 60s and this girl looked around 15 plus man i don't know you know i don't fucking know she was definitely like y y young though nowhere near his age range anyway i was you know doing the fridges putting my stock in and uh i'm going kind of towards the checkout because you know my item was cheese cheese uh so i was walking to the fridges that had the cheese in it go went past and then i saw this old dude looking um uh so the old dude was walking the way that I was walking and the chick was going the other way. And for some reason, my mind was just like, I wonder if that guy's going to like look back. I have no idea why, but in my head, I'm just like, imagine if this guy looked back at, at, at this girl 
So what I do is I stand up to the side because someone was in front of the fridge I was already I need to go to so I was kind of just I just stood on the other side the, um I just stood to the side and kind of looked at the look at the man you know waiting for my fridge to open up and bro this cuzzy I have this was like perfect time like I never see anyone because bro I'm very like I'm always looking around like I'm, I'm always got like a like a 180 of my surroundings I'm always like looking all over the place it's probably just you know ADHD but I'm always scouting you know looking around beaming everyone I look I'm just looking around at anyone I'm bored there's nothing else to do I, bro this guy in my in my like notes I call this guy the three-step process because this cut bro not only does he look and I'm just like looking straight at him like what are you doing bro you're like 60 bro she looked like 15 what are you doing cuz and it was, bro, it was such an obvious look back it was such an obvious look back but I'll tell you why it's called the three-step process this guy was just like the most he was not smooth in the slightest bro this was like the most dry Sahara desert turn ever so first the first step he stops like he just straight up stops all the momentum he had stops velocity zero he stops he does like he does like the most obvious turn you know when bruh he turned his whole head and his like elbow flared out because he was turning around he twisted his whole body which is the second step and then looked which is the third but this guy is standing still with his fucking I'll imagine like you're out like try to do the try to like put this in your head or try to do the movement imagine turning around with your elbow flared out behind your back like it's by your mid back looking all just all the way back all the way back and you're standing still and this whole process takes about four to five like four to six seconds he does the stop the twist the look and bro he's like leaning back looking back as well and i'm looking at this cousin like what the fuck is this guy doing what is this cousin doing i'm just i'm like shocked i'm like this cousin did a three-step process to look back and he wasn't even smooth and that that could be like your daughter They're like that's like your daughter's age like what are you doing looking back old as gram bro like, old as gram old as tramp three-step process just look back you're too like you're too old you know you're you know you're too old when you have to do a three-step process to look back like what are you doing you have to stop twist and then look and you're so obvious you're leaning back looking back and i'm like ah oh, this is just embarrassing